Good morning, gamers. Um, I'm bored as fuck. So I thought, oh, I'll vlog for a bit today. Oh yeah, I just record some stupid shit. Um, I don't fucking know. But at the moment, I have to stay home and wait for a parcel. Because even though my mum knows a parcel's coming today, she still has to go out, which is brilliant. So I have to just wait for a parcel to come before I can do anything. I just woke up, that's what I look like. Absolute shit. Just really zooming over there. I literally just woke up. I'm out of coffee now. I need to fucking wake up properly. There's no mugs there. Not all is lost. I have a mug. This is a normal day for me, unless I've got a 9 a.m. lecture, which is one day. I wake up at 11. I do some shit, then I go and eat food. Because as you can tell, I'm, I'm a fat boy. This video's not gonna be me waffling the entire time, and I hope you're okay with that. You know, I have to get the oat milk. Oh my fucking god! Oh fuck! You didn't see that. This is what happens when you go home and you have no motivation to do anything. I'm not even looking to the fucking camera. I should have just stayed for lockdown and just gone home when the government told me to, but fuck it, four months, four mu four weeks at home, not having to pay for food or circuit laundry. It's a dream come true. God. This is a life. You know what I mean? The life students dream of not having, not, you don't have to pay for things. You can choose if you want to pay for things or not. Imagine, imagine being able to do three loads of laundry and not pay 15 fucking quid to do it. Bon appetit. That's a nice breakfast. You know that feeling when you're just a little bit uncomfortable, but there's nothing you can do about it. My back hurts from carrying this fucking big ass um, schlong around. My wrist hurts because I keep whipping it up in the... Uh, that was funny. Mum's parcel came. That was good. There's my dog. Hey, Freddy. Hello. He's a bit camera shy. Imagine shitting outside. Could never be me. I'm built different. I shit on a toilet like I'm not a functioning member of society. Fucking dogs stealing a living. They don't even do anything. They don't even pay taxes. I mean, I don't, but they will never pay taxes. Scrounge their living. They get fed. They get to sleep. They don't have to talk. They they get walkies. You know. They get to just shit on the floor as they please, and nothing happens. There's no consequences. They don't have to pay any money to the government because they're not technically, you know, registered or able to. Fucking bullshit. I know. I just want to make this making a play about this fucking white middle class life that I have. I'll try not to be so depressing. I have to become a fucking family. What, like, 2015 YouTube, Zawilla so Alfie Days YouTuber, then I'll, then I'll probably get more. Um, then I'll just be more liked. Hold up, let me just try and do that for a second. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to McDonald's. Whee! Also, I'm gonna sit in my room and go on TikTok for five hours today. Why am I doing that? Because I have no life! I'm also gonna take my dog for a walk. And then, maybe I'll give him a treat afterwards. Oh my god, you will not believe the day I'm gonna have. So stay tuned, and please like and subscribe! Is that good enough? Yeah, 10 mil subscribers tomorrow, easy. This is the fit. This is not the best mirror to show it in. This is the fit for today. Shorts, hoodie, beanie. That's the only clothes I ever wear. Um, cause I gotta wear the beanie cause it keeps the hair out of my eyes while I'm driving. <laughs> and this hoodie's just fucking pang. I'm so fresh, you just suck my ass. I'm just gonna post it real quick. I'm so fresh, you just suck my ass. I'm so. Hey. Ha 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 ha.
I'm gonna go ahead to McDonald's. Got the wallet, got the mask. Can you park up? Uh, put an order in the app because I hate human interaction. Then I'll get the order. Hopefully, this phone will stay up in the car. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but hopefully I can record it. Uh, we're in the whip of McDonald's. Oh yeah, bit of Tame Impala, because I'm white and, uh, yep, I'm white. Okay, see if I can remember how to drive. Been a while, oh there we go, and we're off. Glare, brilliant. Okay, right. Mackie's time. So we got napkins. We got the straw for the sprite. We got the French fries. We got the selects. And I got a little BBQ for the dips. All right, bon appetit. Keeping the beanie on, cause hair. Oh yes, lad. And you just oh the chips are actually hot as well let's fucking go oh that's gas bon appa fucking tea i'm fucking hungry first meal of the day mackie's at half 12 sounds about right to me oh my back mm -hmm. oh yeah Oh yeah, these bad boys do not miss ever. Oh my god! Uh huh. You know the vibes. I could fuck chicken. I would. Unbelievable scenes. I saw on Twitter last night. That was just dreaming about fucking my Oreo McFlurry. In the backseat of my car. I didn't even get an Oreo McFlurry. Hey. I'm not complaining. I like chicken and chips and it's right. What more do you fucking need? This is like America all over again. I love McDonald's. You can tell. But. I don't have it very often. And I certainly don't ever buy it by myself. This is the first time I've ever bought a McDonald's by myself. Like on drive through. I wish I'd been with friends before. That's a good story. Um, when I was younger, you know, 18 for legal reasons, um, I was at a house party. It was my best friend at the time's house, and it was a fucking great, unbelievable night. It was so good. And it got to about, when was it? I want to say 3am, maybe a bit, maybe a bit early, I can't remember. There was a few of us in the living room. And some of us decided we wanted to go to McDonald's. We were, we were in a village at the time that was a 
quite a far bit away from where the McDonald's is, where I just was. And it's absolutely much, much bright. Oh my god. Anyway. But we were drunk enough to the point where we thought, yeah, sound idea. Let's go to a fucking McDonald's, in which is like, this one was like a 10 minute drive away, you know, in a normal car. But we were walking, because we were obviously 18. So we walked along the fucking road. There was a dual carriageway at one point. We walked for an hour and a half, maybe? Maybe a bit more, I can't remember. So to get to McDonald's at 5am. Luckily for us, they were still doing normal food, not breakfast food. Although we did stay until breakfast food had come, so I'll be able to get my chicken selects and my chips. Then we got McFlurries. Then we were trying to get a cab back. No cabs were open, so... And we were all sobered up by this point, so... We walked home in complete sobriety, in absolute silence. None of us wanted to talk. It was really, really funny. Got back to us at 7am. So, successful night out. Did not sleep a wink. Oh, this chicken is busting right now. Hmm. Oh, that's one of my hairs. Doesn't look long enough. Shameful. I don't care. That's something I just don't care about. Alright, someone fucks up, I'm not going to call out on it. Went to Nando's once a few years ago, asked for just a, you know, a regular meal thing. You know, chicken butterfly, medium, garlic bread and chips. Obviously asked for the, you know, bottomless drink, because after some of them, you, you might need a little, little, little wash down. Just didn't get it. Did not get it. But I didn't complain. I was too pussy. So I just... Fucking... Went, you know what? I'm gonna firm it. And just eat it. I just eat it without no liquid. Not fun. Wouldn't recommend it. But as they say in the ancient Greek text, we move. I didn't intend this to be a mukbang, but it is. Oh, God. This is exactly what I fucking needed. And it's great at having money. I was one of the blessed few who got a decent um, maintenance loan um, budget by week. Weekly, so, um... I'm going to splash out now and then. I got his hoodie. Got his beanie. God damn, this meal is busting. I'll do the Travis Scott meal thing. And uh, sometimes i use my phrase like this. Then i dip in the barbecue sauce. Oh, what that guy on TikTok, weird guy on TikTok, he wears all the Travis Scott merch had. I love him, by the way, I'm jealous of him. He has a Travis Scott, he has a Cactus Jack fucking band, um, balaclava. I was wanting that so badly. Crispy fries with tangy barbecue sauce. It's lit. Fucking idiot. I got the Travis Scott meal, but rather the burger, I got chicken selects. Sprayed with ice. Straight up! Is that what he said? I can't remember. Oh no, so I'm gonna rob that man. And steal all of his Cactus Jack balaclavas. If you watch him, mate. You better fucking send me one. Else I'm, com else I'm coming in. And I'm bashing you up. I just break my fucking tooth. What the fuck was that? 
That was weird. It tastes like I was biting dirt, but I might have just broke my tooth. That was tooth. Oh well. Once again, we move. Mmm. Absolutely seen it off. How long has it taken? 15 minutes, but I've been rambling a little bit. Still on the Sprite. This, by the way, is my audio interface. It was the cheapest one I could find. I'm not, I'm not a good musician. Not the kind of money to be spending fucking mil hundreds on a focus right and like a USB uh, mic. I literally, I record all my songs into my fucking phone through a pop filter that I bought off Amazon like two years ago. Now I've got my interface, I can actually record my guitar, which is good. This is just, <laughs> sorry. This is my guitar. It's a B-Tech fucking Fender Stratocaster. I don't think it's actually one of them. I want one. I don't think it even has a Stratocaster. I don't even know what it is. I think it might be a Squire. I'm not sure. This is not. My, this is my worst one as well. My good ones at university. It's exactly the same colour. It's just got. It's just better string wise. <laughs> oh, got hiccups. I'm the most B-Tech musician possible. I record. I have a shitty Windows A3 Aspire, which is for seven years old. To make it on, I have a trial version of FL Studio, which means I have to make all of my songs or beats in one go. I have a folk bearing a um, like thirty pound interface. This guitar from when I was seven, because I was a I played guitar. I've le I, I learned I was, had lessons till I was about twelve. No, was it seven? No, I did it for seven. I was six. Yeah, like six or six, f six. Let's go six, six till twelve. I had guitar lessons, then I just didn't play for like five years, five or six years. In twenty nineteen, picked up again. Sounds rank out of tune. I don't know. That's a that's a sneak preview of something I'm making. Why do you actively choose to listen to me? I'm not a good singer. I'm not good at mixing. Is it because I'm so unbelievably charming? Is it because I can write an okay chorus? I think it might be that. There's one part of my songwriting that I think is actually good. It's my choruses. Right. A lot of guitarists are like, oh mate, if you can't shred, I'm not a good guitarist, but I disagree. I don't really care about solos, or like if you can go like, you know, dude. That does not, that doesn't impress me. What impresses me is a very good chord progression, and a catchy melody on top. I like simple, but well made indie. I don't care about fucking big, massive rock solos. Like some people, like I'm a big fan of the Arts and Monkeys, uh, a certain romance closing. You know the... that all that hop isn't it? All that, but it's it's not it's no it's not impressive on a technical level, but it is impressive in the fact that it's a really nice catchy guitar melody played over these. You know this. All that business, like, oh, like by Pablo, rest up. Like the melody on top of that is fucking beautiful. Like, I find shit like that really fucking like amazing, rather than. People going up the fretboards and bends and all that shit. I don't care. I think all artists should learn to produce at least some to some extent. Because then you get more money. Um, you get more ideas. Pretty fresh. Like, I've got some ideas. Let's worm around my head. There's something I'm going to make. That I haven't made yet, but... 
Plus some nice chord progressions. I use I like I love these fucking I like all the seventh chords like Woo. That shit turns me on a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I'll talk about what music I like actually. Um I'm really into Testing by Sap Rocky again. That's a very underrated album from a couple of years ago. We're into 53 Fears at the moment, they're a very underrated group. Um, kind of make electro R&B stuff really nice, really chill, very well produced. Boy Pablo's new album is fantastic. Um, so catchy, lots of really nice production and chords. I'm going to take it off now. Much better. Now nah, I'm gonna just stop recording for a bit because I've I'll recorded a lot today already, like almost an hour of footage, which is fucking embarrassing. I'm good at waffling.